third time's the time. Thank goodness. Welcome everybody to another video. My third recording of this. Yeah, it's on how long it takes to make a video. I sometimes get lots of videos out. Not always. Okay, I'm not showing you a lanky book. Anyway. All right, people, listen up. So there's been a lot of discussion on the internet the last couple days. Sonic Prime, the brand new Netflix show that just came out. I'm sure at this point, a lot of you have already watched it. Sonic Prime is can Yeah, I've never really thought about if it's canon or not, but there's lots of things that prove it. Like, it's great second backstory. Um, the Knuckles part is voice act. So, yeah. Get over it. The show is officially canon. The writers of the show say it's canon. And there's a lot of the evidence that also backs this up as well. There's some ambiguity with this. Like, yeah. I can see how someone could say, no, it's not canon. There's kind of two sides to the argument. So let's kind of explore all this and really just get to the bottom of this. So here's the deal. The executive producer for the series, Logan McPherson, literally said that the show is canon. So let's... Okay, why is it not canon? the clip any insight you can give us on these or how you ended up coming up with these looks with the team yeah absolutely so first and foremost the show is canon first and foremost the show is canon first and foremost the show is canon so it's part of the the sonic mythology it exists in the time that makes sense of the game. that explains how the character models got straight off the bat <laughs> because every model has been teamed three because they didn't know what they look like. Okay. And Sega actually sent us their character models. So they are pinpoint accurate. They are on point. Ooh. So we ingested those in our Yeah, and then I have to do the lot nine. Our animation pipeline. That right there should end the debate, right? But don't worry, guys, there's even more. So here's actually an article in comic book. So it says that Logan was asked how the show actually coincided. Like in the gameplay so he can play. Like frontiers, but yeah. With the game, so this is what he had to say. Question says Logan, this series takes my Twitter does not end. Anyway, Logan, the series takes place in a community. That makes sense because Green Hills is looks like the main Green Hills. Place in the continuity of the video games. What was the motivation for doing that? He says it's first and foremost, it's canon and does draw upon existing mythology from the games. And we work very closely with Sega creatively to establish that. Right off the bat, I mean the Sonic IP is very protected. Yeah, Sega. The only way it would be canon is if Sega is canon. Did by Sega. Sega has an iron fist over a lot of the stuff that goes on with their global mascot, Sonic the Hedgehog. So if Logan is comfortable to come out and say that the show is canon, under probably some form of NDA and stuff like that with Sega, you can confidently say that the show is probably canon. Yeah, that's a good backstory. One is just voice acted, but it's still busy some... He goes on to say, we obviously want to bring a new audience into that mythology and introduce them to the amazing 30 year history that has already been established over the years, but also launch a new story that can take the characters and situations to very unexpected places. Long story short, he uses previous game lore to use as a springboard for new stories and new places and new plot twists. And he also goes on to say that new fans will like the show as well as the existing longtime fans such as myself. And I- Hey, I've been a long time fan since I was born and I- I know it's been like 30, 40 years, 80 years, but I'm not. I am a teenager at the moment like the show for the record here's also a good description of the show in this article right here it says that this show takes place sometime in the future in relation to the game series which is important to note when you talk about like retconning stuff and you talk about like previous things that happened in the series as far as the timeline for the show goes which can create some problems but we'll get into that too so sonic prime is canon right well no it's not canon according to twitter the best place in the world full of nuanced and really he had no good faith discussions. We all thought it was canon, right? And then, you know, the timeline has to disagree with pretty much everything. Twitter, great website. We love it. Okay. So, so yeah, guys, look, I looked up Sonic Prime, not canon. And would you look at that? All over the place, you know, it's another. What the? big crazy discussion, which it really shouldn't be. Like, this guy right here, let's see what this person says. This person says, y'all, Sonic Prime is canon. I keep this. They would not make sticky. Maybe. Oh no, dear. Maybe. They just haven't met Sonic yet. Maybe in the world. Sonic might be dead. And every game is Sonic of Death to Sonic. When you die. 
but they likely forget. What? Which it most likely is. He also got his normal suit before his glove team. It's oh my god. This person right here says Sonic Prime is not canon. This is actually a viral tweet I want to look at right here. People who actually worked on Sonic Prime, the show is canon. Sonic fans, Sonic Prime is not canon. Voice actor for Sonic Prime, the show is canon. Sonic fans, Sonic Prime is not canon with the mad emoji. Here's another good tweet right here. This person literally said Sonic. Is a Sonic fan? I'm Sonic fan. Basically. So not Prime is canon, and this person goes, no, it's not. And this guy says, they literally said this, and he says, but it isn't. He says, okay, but at this point, you're lying. Really? Bro, I'm dying laughing. But you know, some people are confused. This guy says it doesn't bother me if it's canon, but not ruling out the possibility that the showrunner's definition of canon is different from Sega's, which is a good point. I mean, honestly, it's yeah. not like, I see where some people are coming. Oh, let me see. Oh, wait, missed. This might. From said it could easily be an alternate universe type thing and be canon in the same way that Boom and Archie are. Here's another tweet. This guy says Sonic Prime first impressions. Not a fan of the characterizations. Pixel art. Too many continuity errors to be canon. Where is the continuity errors? I need to hear it. What? Yeah, where? Get to some of the primary arguments as to the. Is it the knuckle scene of people voices? Continuity errors. So basically, in my opinion, in my estimation, there is nothing in the show that could potentially make the show not canon. You can argue about the characterization of Sonic, but like at the end of the day, he is Sonic. He's adventurous. He's free spirited. Sometimes reckless at times. He lives by his own way. He loves to protect his friends, and he's co and can sometimes be cocky. Cocky, like that. That is what it is. Like in a nutshell, that's what. When it I know is the frontier Sonic is um, serious. He does. Is this Sonic? So in some of the scenes. Obviously, if you dissect the dialogue, there's a little bit of, like, childish humor. I guess you could argue he's definitely toned down as opposed to Frontier Sonic, who is a lot more somber and serious. Like, yeah, I get that. I mean, just because he's not always totally somber and serious, like... Okay, I'm, I've heard a bit about it, and I've seen the trailer. His friends were what? I'm pretty sure. That makes sense. In half of the series, he didn't know until he learned... He was serious and he is serious when he was with his friends. He was kind of required to be in Frontiers because it was unlike anything they've ever experienced before. Like, really? really, he was pushed to his limits. But that's kind of a weak argument because, like, is a game like Sonic Colors or Sonic Generations not canon because he wasn't as serious or he was a little bit goofier than normal? Just because he's serious in Frontiers doesn't mean that Sonic is a super serious guy. Wait, also, guys, once I've played Sonic Frontiers, I am going to do a reacts to. Sonic Frontier is good to evil. Sonic loves to have fun, and I do think that's a little bit of a weaker argument. There's even examples in Sonic Prime where he does get a little bit serious. I think it's at the end of episode two or three. I forgot which one is which. But when he discovers the Paradox Prism and realizes, like, he's the one that messed up the universe, he does get serious there. there yeah, he just has a pause moment like, I've caused it. No. <laughs> I've caused it. I have not to worry about it. Sometimes where Prime Sonic does get serious. It just depends on the situation. Half the time he didn't even know he was in an alternate reality. So you have to take that. Yeah, that is kind of true. He didn't know half. Into account as well. But as far as like the lore of the show, the biggest argument that I've seen from people that say the show isn't canon is that it retcons certain things like with the Master Emerald scene with Knuckles. But that is completely wrong. Like this actually happened in Sonic 3 Knuckles. Sonic does fight Knuckles in the Hidden Palace Temple. Like that's 100% facts. As far as the dialogue between them goes, well, there was no dialogue in the Genesis games. It's probably a rough interpretation of really their first like true interaction together. Yes, plus there wasn't really any voices. Because in that game, basically, Knuckles just punches Sonic, laughs, and runs away. Like, they don't really have that true dialogue between each other. So there's nothing wrong with that scene. And I would say they do a really good job of tying it back together and only further establishes that the show is canon. Because we never saw anything like that in Sonic X or any other previous... You have not already played that. ...iteration of Sonic TV. That just proves that Sonic X is just an unmade fan of it. Not a actual person of Sonic that proves it up. So we got a flashback from Sonic Origins, which yeah. depicts the events of Sonic 2, where Sonic and Tails met. So we got that flashback. I don't see that part. As well, which once again draws it all together. We have all the characters in Green Hill, and people will say, oh, there's no humans, but in some Sonic games, there's no humans. Yeah, in some Sonic games, there's no humans, besides the only human in every Sonic one is Dr. Omutnik.
There's multiple different islands. It's already been confirmed by Ian Flynn. Also, here's a statement from Takashi Izuka, who is literally like the boss of Sonic. Like, this is like Sonic, bro. This is like Sonic's father, basically speaking for him. Izuka himself. Bro, enough of Sonic D and D. How do you say that name? The Nintendo is past me. Who is the head of Sonic Team? He literally said they're trying to bring all the Sonic universes together as one. Ian Flynn recently hinted to the fact that IDW might be canon as well, but let's take a look at what he said to kind of really dispel this even further. Izuka, when asked about it, said, I think even with the Netflix TV show that's going to be on air soon and the IDW comic series, it's always best to have one universe to connect them. For the movies, though, it's a little too hard to reasonably incorporate this realistic looking Sonic with real human being friends and real planet Earth. All of those things are a bit too difficult to put into the games, but if we're talking about the comics, the Netflix series and the games moving forward the idea of trying to get all of them into the same universe Or even if it's not exactly the same universe at least having them feel like they're part of a connect. Okay, um I can actually you could do the Sonic thing Okay, I know it's gonna be hard to actually do a realistic version of Sonic I've seen a Sonic and I probably could do that But that's not my idea My idea For you guys to help is Actually, very simple. I'm gonna give up a third last for any reason, okay? Um, Tonic is actually a single game, and yeah, why haven't people understand it? Why not everybody? Um, but I know how they could do it. They reference the realistic versions from Parmit's version of Sonic. That could make it canon. Because it is a new meaning to the wings, and it uses multiverses to the wings, and the wings don't actually put in the realistic, but it does teleport you to other stuff. And like, if there's a new movie, in a Sonic game, with a wing, and you, at the end, you throw the wing to go and meet up, and it goes. That's, and then, it's like, like all of that. We, they were just different versions of Sonic who ended up being caught in the Sonic world. And, and that couldn't do so of meaning. <laughs> do Sonic me? That'd be funny. That would be hell of a funny movie. Universe is something that's very important to us. To me, I mean, that basically indicates that they want moving forward there to be kind of one universe of Sonic. I think with IDW, it's I don't really read the comics, so I can't really speak for that. There is a lot of new plot lines and new characters in IDW. So when he says like, oh, they might not exactly be the same universe, IDW is going to need a lot more work based off of how it's currently constructed to become. Hey, hey, also, I'm playing me. I did this guy a lot. If it's Sonic theme. And then as opposed to Sonic Prime, which re if it's Sonic means as of right now has no obstacles within the plot, the potential future of the show, and what happened previously in the games. But as far as Sonic Prime goes, there's nothing in the show that retcons anything or contradicts the current lore of the games. And if the show writers are saying that it's canon and they said that it takes place in the future, then to me it has to be canon. Yes, you could yes. argue, yeah, like Frontier Sonic is different from Prime Sonic, but I think the core principles of the character are still there. And there's still a lot of character development that has to happen within the show. We still have like 16 more episodes, so you have to take that into account. Maybe even if it becomes more popular, depending on where it is now, last time it was fourth, fifth. Um, depending on how it goes, it could be popular as well. But overall, in terms of like the lore of Sonic Prime, Shadow's established, which probably establishes Shadow 05. Yeah. Sonic Heroes, SA2, S3 and K's been established, Sonic 2's been established, so the lore pretty much checks out. There's nothing that contradicts the games at all, whereas, you know, in Sonic X, you see ca characters like Chris Thorndike who appear in the Sonic Adventure interpretations, so right off the bat, that can't be canon. The other Sonic shows, like Sonic... Yeah, Sonic Boom. Boom. It's literally set in an alternate, like, universe or dimension, so that can't be canon yeah. in either. As far as the older classic Sonic... Unless Sega finds a way to connect them. What? That's realistic. Please. Shows, I mean, those aren't canon either because none of those characters ever appear again. Right off the bat, you can like cross off every single Sonic show as not being canon. But Sonic Prime has the canon continuity of the games. The writer said it. Azuka said they want it all together moving forward. And as far as the show goes, right now, as of the first eight episodes, it doesn't contradict anything that's ever happened in the game. It's, I mean, you know, heck, there could be more coming up. Hopefully they find a way. 
if it becomes more popular. Ims. So I'm gonna have to go with the fact that it's canon, guys. But it's not that serious, guys. Listen, it's a fun discussion. This is my personal take on it with evidence. If you disagree, let me know down below in the comments. I disagree. And that probably makes more sense. Because it shows how you're collecting wings in his. And it shows that this, the wings help with his health whenever he gets hit. That seems like it's harder for him to go. Let's make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. And let me know if you guys think Sonic Prime is canon. Because as far as I'm concerned, until they say it's not, it is. Yes. I agree. I agree with Swing Cub. I'll have a playlist coming out of Fly. <laughs> I'm going to react to his lot. Why? So I can want lots of news. I'm going to take his tag off. If he has all Sonic news, then he's definitely going to be something I'm watching. Go ahead, take Sonic up and bye bye.